What's going on, everyone? How's everyone doing tonight? Watching the Cubbies, huh? I am not. I'm going to be watching the NBA playoffs. It starts here in uh, 13 minutes or so. See if Giannis can close it out. And then the big uh, game five of Warriors and Rockets. Yeah, it should be, uh, should be interesting. Just see if I'll be able to stay awake for the whole uh, Warriors Rockets game. That's the uh, question. I might be doing another case, Chris. Not tonight. Um, maybe Friday night, depending on how we sell the Court Kings case tomorrow. Maybe Saturday night and decide if I want to do anything some Saturday or uh, Monday. I'll probably definitely do another case of, of Tier 1, though. We sold this one out pretty easily, so I want to keep doing stuff. It's somewhat of an affordable break. 57 for a spot's not too bad with the potential you can get on Tier 1. Yes, definitely starts late. That was last Friday after, after I got home from the breaks with the Nuggets Blazers game going four overtimes. I don't think I went to sleep till about two fifteen, two thirty in the morning. I was I was fighting it, fighting the eyes closing a lot. That's for sure. Yeah, that was a nuts game. There's been a lot of good games. Last night's games weren't very good. I didn't watch too much of those. Once the Raptors got up 20 in the second quarter, I was done with that. and I watched a little of the second quarter of the Blazers Nuggets, and that got out of hand quickly in the third. So I didn't do too much with that, but... What's up, Gary? For you, since I'm not shipping anything, it'd be uh, 125 for tier one. Yeah. 
Sounds good. I brought an extra case in here. She'll be able to pick from a fresh case after the case break. Shouldn't take too long. There's only 12 boxes, one pack per, so we'll probably be done with the case break by 8.25, 8.30. I'll be starting the case break a little after, right after 8. Give everyone a chance to get in the room. Yep, yeah, should be a quick one. These are definitely the breaks I enjoy as a breaker. I'm sure all other breakers do too when you've got uh, three to four cards per box only. It's a quick break and a pretty quick sort, so... Not like last week with the football and having to look up all the players' teams, and that one took a while to sort. Really, Chad? Jeez. There's a uh, Giannis NTRPA running auction right now. I think it's up to over 30000 already. Where is it at? You know, I'm watching on ours. I'll find it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what boxes are. They've got to be five, you know. Three grand a box. Yeah, there it is. It's uh, it's in Taiwan, of course. Still has a day left, and it's up to thirty three thousand three hundred. It's a nice patch on it, though. A lot of them didn't have that great of patches, but his stuff is a jumping. That's for sure. I remember when Treasures first came out in 13, Giannis RPAs were going for like 500 bucks. I was like, those are way too high. The guy hasn't even done anything. If only. I know. I was joking with Andy on uh, Monday during their game, game four in Boston. I said, I think I say this, I think I say this every game I watch him, but he's ridiculous. And he was like, I think you do say it every game. It's just every time you watch him, especially in the playoffs with the intensity, it's just he's just so dominant. It's unbelievable. Yeah, Simmons can still get there. I don't think he'll ever have his size of Giannis, but I mean, yeah, I remember Giannis is this is his sixth year in the league. Simmons is on year three, so he's got three years on him. I just don't think Simmons has the tenacity and the aggressiveness that, Gian that Giannis has or even has have had the past couple years. But we'll see. I still think Simmons is going to be really good. I just think I – I don't think Simmons and Bede are a good pair together. I think Simmons needs more of a Giannis team where it's built for him to drive, create, and then dish off. Whereas with the Sixers and Bede sitting down on the post and clogging up the lane a little bit, and yeah, and you, you see it on like he, he's an aggressive driver. He attacks the rim hard with Simmons, but you know when the defender is able to play five feet off of you, and like I said, and Bede sitting down there sometimes just defensively, Giannis has a lot bigger of an edge over Simmons by far, but. Like I said, we'll see. Simmons has still got – I mean, the guy's only 22 years old, I think. Sometimes that killer instinct is just hard to – it's hard for guys to grasp early on in their careers. I mean, might definitely – Doubt a little bit more now for sure, but 
I just still see the raw skill set that he has. It's obviously the shooting is a concern, but I mean, Giannis just started to shoot a little bit better in the last two years too. So, the elite skill set he has is hard to find to go along with the the body that he has. So we're going to start in about five minutes, guys. Five minutes, we're going to start back up. Or not back up, start up. Case is sold out. And then we'll open up for personals after. Gary Sewell's already in line, spot number one to do some personals. And once he waves the white flag, if anyone wants to jump in, we can do that. Yeah, I agree with that. Giannis's form is definitely a lot better. Simmons has good elbow form. It's his hand form. He like he he turns his hand when he shoots. It's weird. You know, hopefully that's correctable. You know, that's stuff you got to really work on the off season because during the season you're not going to change and do that. It's kind of like changing your swing in baseball. It's hard to make big changes during the season. That happens in the off season. But Simmons Simmons got the good beef. He's got that elbow up. It's yeah. He just he he turns his hand like in like it's it's really weird. I honestly think he should go righty. It is right when he when he shoots like layups and little like jump hooks righty. It almost looks more natural than when he shoots it lefty. Yeah. Well, fold that's all mental. With folds, it's it's all mental. He's got the yips. He's got the Chuck Knobloch of basketball. Yes, Mr. Jose, you got the last spot. You're in. But from what I hear, Fultz is uh, looking a little bit better this year. I mean, he's down in Orlando now. He set out the whole set out the whole year, so we'll see on him. That's a team he can thrive in. They don't. I mean, DJ Augustine isn't a long-term solution at point guard for them, so a young playoff team like that. Sounds good. I'm just, yeah, I'm all, like a lot of people, I'm all in on Giannis. I bought some stuff personally a month, two months ago, just knowing the rise is still there. And now it's the question of when do I sell? I mean, that's a lot of people's question. But I think they're the favorite to make the finals in the East, that's for sure. Raptors could be tough. Kawhi's playing out of his mind right now, too. You got Kawhi and Saikam to throw at Giannis. I know they're not the strength size, but they're long athletic guys. And Raptors, uh Raptors Bucks series could be pretty interesting. And this could be the uh, this could be Kyrie's last game in a Celtics uniform potentially if they lose tonight. Yeah, I don't think Ibaka could guard him though because I think he's too slow. I think Giannis would drive by him. That's what's that's why he's such a hard cover is you put you know a side camp Kawhi on him he goes to the post and he's so strong. You put like a Ibaka like the Pacers maybe put Miles on him a few times he's just so. He gets that head of steam. Yeah, but even then, then you give him room to do his Euro step thing, and he's so long, he just reaches over. That's why he's just so good. It's, it's hard to guard him. You really have to show two. 
like the Celtics were doing that in the first game. I don't know if you guys saw when Giannis was at the point, you had your two wings out here. They're basically showing both guys were sagging off. So they show like a three headed monster at Giannis and make him dish. But the problem is that the Bucks construct their team so well that they've got four shooters out there on the floor with Giannis almost all the time. So if they're hitting, then it's, it's over. All right, guys, 50 seconds. We're going to start up real soon here. Just as the game tips off. Yeah, you got to force him to shoot. That's the only thing you can do. Like I said, the problem is he gets out and he gets in space, and it's just it's end game. Well, I saw the timer on the uh, the video. <laughs> Here for the raise break. That's right. I try to start right on even times so it's easier to record. All right, here we go. So, Changers, Jake here, about to start our 2019 Tops Tier 1 Baseball Case Break on Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. Let's get this random going. Uh, I think Brogdon's playing tonight a little, Brian. Pretty sure he's coming back tonight to play a little. They'll be definitely a next series for sure. All right, here's the dice roll. Remember, it has to be at least three. Here we go again. And we are going three. Three times. We got a list here. So the four combo spots are Orioles, Marlins, which there's some Cal Ripken autograph stuff in this. That's not a bad combo spot. Tigers, Twins, also not too bad. None of the combo spots are that bad. Rangers, D-backs. D-backs are really the only team that doesn't have a ton of hits. They have Goldschmidt autos, but that's it. Rangers actually is pretty solid. He's got Beltre, Ivan Rodriguez, and Juan Gonzalez autos in there potentially. Rockies, Pirates are another combo, and that's it. So there's four combo spots. So three times. Here we go. One. A's and Yankees. Two. Giants down to Athletics. Uh, yes, Mystery Auto A goes to the Blue Jays because it's Vlad Jr. Well, there's only one mystery auto, so it's the Blue Jays is Vlad Jr. All right, here's number three. We got Mariners in the top spot. We got Yankees in five, which are a good one for this. There's a ton of Vet Hall of Famer stuff in this. Blue Jays are eight, which is Mystery Redemption Auto we just talked about. Angels are in 12, which has all the Trout, Otani, all that stuff. White Sox are 15. Eloy Jimenez does have rookie autos in this as do the Padres in 22 with Fernando Tatis Jr. You got Cubs in 21, Red Sox 19, Cardinals 17. They're all big teams as well, and Dodgers 26. So me. Uh, yep, Expo Expos always go to the Nationals. Yep. So if there's any Vlad Jr. stuff in Expos uniforms, or not Vlad Jr., but Vlad Guerrero, that goes to the Nationals always. And we got everyone's name in here. Thank you guys for buying out the spots and getting in. So here we go, three times. One. Steve Owen down to Joy. Two. Michael Wheeler down to Ryan Duffy. And three. We got Pete Keys in the top spots. All the way down to Michael Wheeler in spot 26. He's randomized three times there. Let me copy that over. Paste it in. We'll print it out. And go through it. It's not what I want to choose. Selection, there we go. Remember, also, we have our 
Court Kings basketball case break on Friday night scheduled. Already sold five or six spots. Um, that is pretty much at cost, so it's pretty cheap break. And it is a full 16 bucks case. So hopefully a lot of hits out of that one for only 50 bucks a spot. So it's pretty good. All right, Mariners, Pete Key is not a bad spot. Pete with some Ichiro potential stuff in there. Phillies, Joy Katawaki. Royals, Michael Wheeler. Rangers, D-backs combo, Corey Owens. Yankees, Michelle Crudy. Congrats, Michelle. Rockies, Pirates combo, Aiden Jones. It's not bad for Aiden and Troy. They're Pirates fans. Reds, Ryan Duffy. Blue Jays, Andrew Mills. Congrats, Andrew. A's, Nathan Vaughn. Rays, Chris Newman. Nationals, Corey Owens. Angels, Andrew Olson. Braves, Aiden Jones. Orioles, Marlins combo, Steve Owen. White Sox, Jared Nickter. Mets, Joel Kurz. Cardinals, Steve Owens. Good one, Steve. Brewers, Jason Jacobs. Red Sox, Jeff Waterman. Nice one, Jeff. Giants, Matt Pennington. Cubs, Jared Nickter. Padres, Joy Katawaki. Indians, Jason Jacobs. Tigers, Twins combo, Matt Pennington. Astros, Trey Boyer. And Dodgers, Michael Wheeler. Feel free to talk trades for a second. Uh, Matt Pennington, if you want to trade the Giants, Chris Newman's interested. He has the Rays, so I don't know if you want to swap Rays for Giants, but he told me to throw that out there if he didn't get the Giants or one of the big teams he didn't want to trade. All right, if anyone uh, wants to do some trades, throw it out there. I'm going to open up the case. You guys can see sealed. The reason I picked this case is they put the label upside down direct from top, so maybe some good omens, hopefully. Big nasty uh, bat barrel, bat knob, auto, jumbo patch, auto 101. <laughs> I'm sure she would. Sounds good, Matt. Yep, he just wanted me to throw that out there, whoever got them. But that works. All right, guys, last call on trades. Last call. Yes, I would love to see some cool stuff. I know Tier 1 can definitely be hit or miss, but there's some big hits to be had, that's for sure. All right, last call, 20 more seconds for trade offers. All right, let's do this thing. Box number one. Uh, most boxes will have two autos and a jersey. Some have two autos, two jerseys. Usually those aren't the best boxes, so we don't necessarily want bonus hits. If we get a bat knot or a stick cards, we're going to know this one does not have anything in it. First pack, here we go, Gary Sanchez. That is a bat card to $3.99 for the Yanks and Michelle Crudy. 
uh, tied for the AL home, re home run lead right now, I believe. Then we have a Sandy Alcantara auto for the Marlins, 21-150. Marlins was combo spot. That's going to Steve Owen. And third hit of... There's a nice one. Tier 1 Talents. Andre Dawson on card auto, 41 of 60. Expos, which is national. So that's going to Corey Owens. Nice on card Andre Dawson auto. Always got a very nice, consistent signature. Jersey first, Yadier Molina, a 399 for the Cardinals. That's going to Steve Owen. Auto number one is Zach Wheeler for the Mets, 65 out of 240. And the Mets was Joel Kurz. Joel gets on the board. I'm trying to change the jersey to the top. And the second auto, nice one, Silver Ink, Al Kaline. Five of ten for the Tigers. Combo spot, Matt Pennington. That's why the combo spots weren't bad, guys. I was just basing those off of uh, Tigers only had like pretty much Trammell and K-Line, and we hit the K-Line. So, sweet card there for Matt. Silver Inc. Al K-Line. This is a four hitter. All right, first up, nice one. Dual patch of Matt Olson, 23 of 25. For the A's, that's going to Nathan Vaughn. Then we have a Jake Arietta game used jersey at a 399 for the Phillies. Phillies was Joy. Auto number one is Willie Adamus. For the Rays, that's number to 250. That one's going to Newman. And auto number two is Matt Kemp going to the Dodgers out of 200. That's going to Michael Wheeler. So like I said, those were those uh, four-hit boxes aren't usually as good. You never know. That was a cool dual patch, and Kemp's not too bad. It's definitely a little thicker as well. I want to see some nasty, like, all-star game patch or something. All right, jersey number one, Alex Bregman out of 399 for the Astros. That's going to Trey Boyer. Memorabilia number two. Very cool. Legend 65 of 175, Mariano Rivera for the Yanks and Michelle. Auto number one, Copper Ink, Ryan O'Hearn for the Royals, 3 of 25. So rookie Copper Ink, Ryan O'Hearn for the Royals and Michael Wheeler. And auto number two is a Matt Chapman. 295 out of 299 for the A's and Nathan Vaughn. I think Chapman is one of the more underrated players in baseball. He's a really good player. All right, nothing big yet. Kalen out of 10 was nice. We're, we're hoping for some big dogs to come out.
All right. Mookie Betts out of 399 jersey for the Red Sox and Jeff Waterman. Auto number one is Adolis Garcia, rookie auto, 215 on 250 for the Cardinals. Cardinals with Steve Owen. And auto number two, 55 of 100. Nice. Fernando Tatis Jr. Rookie on card auto out of 100 for the Padres and Joy. There is a nice one. These are the first impact rookie autos of Tatis Jr. and Eloy. And they are on card, so pretty big hits right now. Congrats, Joy. That's a nice one. All right, box number six. We will be halfway through the break on this one. All right, Kyle Seeger out of 399 for the Mariners. That's going to Pete Keys. Auto number one is Eric Thames, uh, 299 for the Brewers. Brew crew was Jason Jacobs. And we have a patch auto or dual patch auto coming up. And it is. It's going this way. Very nice. Matt Carpenter, 8 of 25. Jersey patch auto for the Cardinals and Steve Owen. So congrats to Steve. Nice patch on the left side, at least. All right, guys, we are halfway through. I'm hoping for a couple more big hits here. Had a silver ink and a copper ink, and now a patch auto. We have a redemption. There is a redemption coming up. Jesus Aguilar out of 399 for the Brewers and Jason Jacobs. Auto is Kobe Allard, rookie auto out of 250 for the Braves. And Aiden Jones. Sounds going to Aiden. And the redemption is. Prime Performer's Autograph of, nice, Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina Autograph for the Cardinals and Steve. Cardinals are cleaning up for Steve. Very nice hits. Yadier doesn't sign too, too much. Might take a while to get the card back. You know, the only signs like once a year, but still a very, very nice hit. Congrats to Steve on that one. So that's what the Yachty will look like. Those are the prime performers. That'll be the design of the Yachty. All right, this one either's got a patch auto in it or if it's four cards, one of the two. And it is four. Ooh, look at that right on top. Look at that nastiness. <laughs> Going to Steve Owen again. Game used jumbo patch three of ten. Cal Ripken Jr. What did I say before the break? Cal has stuff on this. He's about the only hit the Orioles have. But he's got some stuff. That is nasty right there. Game used the boot. It's got a little lift in the bottom there, a little damage. But, yeah, that is awesome. Game used for sure. All right, then we got a Pujols out of 399 for the Angels. That's going to Andrew Olsen. Auto number one out of 250 is a Ryan Barucki rookie auto for the Blue Jays. It's going to Andrew Mills. 
And auto number two is Mitch Hanniger. A 240 for the Mariners and Pete Keys. All right, four boxes to go, guys. At least one more big hit, hopefully. Is that our tier one auto, Chad? Tier one talent auto? Is that the case hit auto? You've watched more than I have today. I was going to say, if not, we haven't hit a tier one auto yet, but that might, Dawson might be it. No? So we still should have a tier one auto. Oh, K line was it? And that's that prime performers auto, though. All right, Jersey card, Carl Yastrzemski, a three ninety nine for the Red Sox and Jeff Waterman. Nice game used Yaz jersey piece. Auto David Justice, a two ninety nine. For the Yankees and Michelle, nice DJ. Yeah, you're right, tier one talent. And auto number two is, that's our tier one auto, isn't it? Yeah, it is, I think. Ozzy Albies at a 125 for the Braves. Braves, Aiden Jones. Yeah, that's it for sure. So that's the case hit tier one auto. They are good looking cards, that's for sure. I wish Ozzy would have signed a little bit more in the box, but nice hit for Aiden. All right, three boxes to go. Still want another good patch auto or something. Another silver ink. All right, jersey card is Rizzo out of 399 for the Cubs. That's going to Jared Nickter. Auto of Jake Bowers for the Rays of 250. That one's going to Newman. And we have a jersey auto coming up. It is Jesus Aguilar for the Brewers. That is number 13 of 100. Jesus Aguilar for the Brewers. Going to Jason Jacobs. He's off to a little bit of a rough start this year. He's one of my dynasty keepers. It's not uh, not paid off for me this year so far. I know, seriously, that is a bright orange piece of a jersey for the Brewers. Jersey card of Juan Soto, uh, 399 for the Nationals. That's going to Corey Owens. I will say I feel like they've been – the jersey cards have been pretty good for the most part, at least. Some good names on there. Auto number one is – guy who's on fire right now, Tim Anderson for the White Sox, 54 out of 299. He is tearing it up at the moment. That's going to Jared Nickter. And second auto is last year's Cy Young Award winner, Blake Snell out of 299 for the Rays and Newman. All right, last box. One more big hit. Come on. Yep, Rays, Rays hit for sure. Jersey cards, Jose Ramirez out of 399 for the Indians. That's going to Jason Jacobs. Auto number one is Fran Mal Reyes 
for the Padres out of 250. Going to Joy. And last auto of the break is Jose Canseco. Going to the Athletics. That's out of 299. That's going to Nathan Vaughn. All right, and that is the break, guys. Let me go grab. We're not doing a free spot into Friday's break. I just need to find what I put aside to give away. We're doing a giveaway instead. Where did I put it? All right, so we're giving this away. Really cool, clearly authentic, baseball's finest, 93 All-Star reprint, Kyle Schwarber Auto. So instead of a free spot, I'm going to give that away. All right, so let me clear this off real quick. Yeah, it wasn't terrible case tier one. I mean, it was... There's no huge hits, but we had a lot of really good names. The Ripken Jumbo Patch was awesome. Uh, yeah, we can do that, Andy. I just got to break. Uh, Gary Sewell asked me to do some personal boxes first, so I'm going to do Gary's first, and then uh, we'll break Alan's case. All right, guys, here's the list of everyone from the break. We're going to go three more times since that's what the dice roll told us. So at the end of six, that's who gets the Kyle Schwarber. There you go, one. Get Corey Owens on top. Two. Corey Owens again. And three. Good luck, everyone. Aiden Jones. So Aiden wins the Schwarber. All right, guys, that was the 2019 Tier 1 Baseball Case Break number one on a Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. Thank you for everyone joining in.